Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carocco again and I created a course about road lighting design techniques and part of that course is an intersection and pedestrian lighting and this is what I did for this course. It is so ugly and I'm planning to create a new one just for this YouTube video. And I am going to use this amazing 3D file maybe this one or this one just to make this video tutorial much looking better okay so i'm going to import and download this one now so i'll go and say save sketchup and save it now and then i will in convert it into that 3ds file using pick and planner okay so i'm going to import it now and go to the furniture file and i save it in my desktop and i'll select intersection and yes, I will continue as this one. Very good. And then I'll go to the construction and I will attach the same materials that has been generated by this um, 3D file from Pecan Planner. This asphalt. And I maybe select this pedestrian as white and um yeah this is a concrete road so maybe this is so maybe this is the concrete and then open and click there okay yes so i will now place it there and use this 3d file for my lighting calculation i'm ready now and what i'm going to do is i will just put this uh, calculation surface on the top of this intersection 3d and um, i will remove okay let me just check the scale of this 3d file so this one is a two lane road zoom extent perfect okay so let's put our calculation surface properly now and also our lights so i'm going to scale this one go to the plan view right click and scale area so the size of this is 8.8 .8 by 14 point let's make it 14.4 there you go and for the path walk or pedestrian lane i will create two one is for the short one and one is for the long one so i'm just going to scale it okay so for the path walk, it's 2.2 by 13.3 meters all right and then I will do the same for the other side. And then I'll copy this one. So just go to the plan view, control C and control V. And place one here, right click and then scale also. You don't need to rotate it, just uh, scale it like this. Because the orientation of the grid point will be the same, it's 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. All right. So now we have our two pedestrian, one small and one uh, long or small and uh, short and long and then our intersection and then we will al arrange our luminaires because our intersection becomes rectangle now okay i'll also move this one and place it here okay so we're done let's go and calculate and let's see if we can still achieve the same lux value as per the lecture from udemy okay so it's done and yes intersection becomes whoa 127 lux this is too much pedestrian will become say 99.82 very very good okay so i think this is really amazing so let's go and open the false color and value chart of this one also and it's 165 lux this is too much uh, because of this value we can look for a lower wattage of uh, luminaire because this one is 55 watts maybe we can look for 35 or 40 watts instead of 55 just to comply with the 70 lux requirements for pedestrian okay so our values is very very good except the overall uniformity on the intersection is becomes 0.45 but it's okay because the requirement is 0.4 so we're still achieving it and for the pedestrian it's 111 lux and 0.51 overall uniformity so with this one i think we need to in 
increase the um, tilting angle of this pedestrian luminaire or we can increase the height of the fitting of the or we can increase the height of the pole and so yeah it looks good and i think this one is much better compared to the one that i created in the udemy course all right so i hope you like this one and if you want to get the 3d file just go to the www.sketchup at 3 dsketchupwarehousecom and look for the intersection and you will find some amazing intersection 3d objects there and download it and uh, convert it uh, into 3ds file using pecan planner so yeah and if you want to learn more about this road lighting design techniques go and visit www.udemy.com and look for the road lighting design techniques by nel Carocco. okay so see you again on the next video and don't forget to subscribe